So many of you guys have asked me uh, where you purchased uh, the steel hookaroon that I used in a video, couple of videos ago, a tool that I think so much of. And uh, I got notifications that no one could find them on the steel website. And I went there myself and looked all over and I, I couldn't find anything. And uh, finally, I found them. Uh, and I want to show you where that is. If you just type in uh, steel uh, forestry tools, uh, the website address is up here. You should be able to see it. It's steel USA forward slash products forward slash chainsaws forward slash accessories forward slash forestry tools and we have some additions here that I haven't seen before so we'll go over these for a minute now I have um, the PV the log PV right here we'll click on and one thing that surprised me about these uh, steel tools is they exceed um, they they exceed the quality that I even think that they should live up that, that that would be required for these tools. I mean they're just phenomenal to me. How much thought? I mean that's what the Germans do. You know they don't do anything without putting a lot of thought into it, and things are overbuilt. But they're not heavy. You know they're not overbuilt to the point where they're cumbersome. And they're, I've never seen a PV that could even compare to this one right here. So um, you know of course five out of far, five ratings there that well, doesn't surprise me. No, well, there's only one review, but I would give it five stars for sure. So a uh, good place to start right there. And we'll go back, uh, cover some of the other ones. And then the Hookeroon, which is, uh, I just can't imagine working without a uh, phenomenal tool, excellent, excellently built. Uh, right here, you can see, you can find that. And any one of your dealers uh, can are going to order these or be able to order them for you. Most dealers are probably not going to carry them, but what a back saver and work saver this is. And this is something a guy could make. You know, I've been thinking about maybe firing up the blacksmith forge and and um, maybe making one with a hickory handle. That'd be kind of a cool project. Uh, some other additions, uh, which I really like, is uh, I like this cant hook here. Yeah, kind of a smaller PV with a hook on it. If anyone's looking for a Christmas gift for for uh, Wrangler Star, um, you can go ahead and send me one of these, as well as one of these down here. There, that would be uh, that would be good. This is this is nice. I'd like to like to use one of those. I I'll, I won't buy one because I already have a PV, but if they were free, I would uh, <laughs> would just really use it. Now this is a nice tool, um, log carrier, right there, made for two people. Uh, you can put that down and, and, and grab on to stuff. Um, man, that'd be a great tool, especially for a couple guys working together in the woods. Um, man, I'd love to have one of those, too. I usually work by myself, so it wouldn't do me a whole lot of good. And then, uh, of course, the last is the log stand. And these are really nice. I didn't know that they made these. So this clamps onto the PV, and what it does it is uh, it kind of gives you a lever with a stand, so you hook a log, and then you can you you can lift it up. I, I want to demonstrate with my hands, but I can't do that. And you can just basically pull the handle down and jack the log up off the ground, so you can cut it. So you're not putting your bar in in the ground. So you know I was looking at this design right here, and I thought, oh, I could build one of those, you know, quite easily, and I might just do that. Um, I, I think I will do that. So those are the uh, those are the forestry tools, and of course anything anything you get from Still is so nice. The only thing I've ever come across of theirs that maybe wasn't the best was the um, their wheat their wheat leaf blowers. I think you can do better on those. But um, got homeowner saws, professional saws. Let's look at the saws for a minute. Let's see. Of course the you know I would. For most guys, you know, I'm a real advocate of the professional saw. This 261, this two, I have the 260, and the 261 has superseded that one. This is, um, man, just a, a classic. If you're just a, a, a normal woodcutter and you don't have really big stuff, I run a 25-inch bar on mine, which uh, is a bit much for it, but uh, I don't. It's good for living because I don't have to bend over and. And I can reach stuff better because I'm I'm pretty tall, so it gives me a little bit of an advantage. But ooh, nice saw there, nice saw there. And if I was going to jump up to a bigger saw, I would look at the um, let's see, they got the 440, 441s, the four, the four. I'd probably go with the 460. You know, they're changing all this stuff, so it's hard to keep up. Maybe 460. 460 is a big bot big saw or the 441 440 this is a great saw right here and full professional saw very nice I could stand this website a long time 
see if there's anything else here of interest. We've got um, rescue saws, saw chains, specialty chains, guide bars, cases and scabbards for and I think that about sums it up. But there's a forestry tool link there and you can get your get your hookeroon ordered. I, I haven't seen it online. Um, maybe you can buy one online, but um, the hookeroon in the is uh, if you do firewood uh, is, is a great tool. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.